This country has been sick. This country needs healing. This country needs medicine. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that what this country really needs right now is a doctor. Today, I say to you that the challenges we face are real. They are serious and they are many. They will not be met easily or in a short span of time. But know this, America, they will be met. The master was always sort of hypnotic, but this is on a massive scale. I was going to vote for him. Really? Well, it was before I even met you, and I liked him. Me too. Why do you say that? What was his policy? What did he stand for? I don't know. He always sounded good. But you could trust him. Just nice. He spoke about... I can't really remember, but it was good. Just the sound of his voice. Yes, we can. 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 The thing is, it, it's obvious. The forgery is screaming out, and yet no one can see it. It's as if he's mesmerized the entire world. What is it? Mind control? No, 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 no. It's subtler than that. Any stronger people would question it, but containing that rhythm in layers of code, vote sacks, believe in me, whispering to the world. Our nation is at war against a far reaching network of violence and hatred. Our economy is badly weakened, a consequence of greed and irresponsibility on the part of some but also our collective failure to make hard choices and prepare the nation for a new age. So, Earthlings, basically, um, end of the world. Here come the drums! Because you people and 62 million other Americans are listening to me right now. Because less than 3% of you people read books. Because less than 15% of you read newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube is the gospel. The ultimate revelation, this tube can make or break presidents, popes, prime ministers. This tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it ever falls into the hands of the wrong people. And when the largest company in the world controls the most awesome goddamn propaganda force in the whole godless world, who knows what shit will be peddled for truth on this network. So you listen to me. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We're in the boredom killing business. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds, we're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You ate like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. The last thing the men behind the curtain want is a conscious, informed public capable of critical thinking, which is why a continually fraudulent zeitgeist is output via religion, the mass media, and the educational system. They seek to keep you in a distracted, naive bubble, and they are doing a damn good job of it. 
religion, patriotism, race, wealth, class, and every other form of arbitrary separatist identification and thus conceit has served to create a controlled population utterly malleable in the hands of the few. Divide and conquer is the motto. And as long as people continue to see themselves as separate from everything else, they lend themselves to being completely enslaved. The men behind the curtain know this, and they also know that if people ever realize the truth of their relationship to nature and the truth of their personal power, the entire manufactured zeitgeist they prey upon will collapse like a house of cards. And so it falls to me, as master of all, to establish from this day a new order of Time Lords. From this day forward. <laughs> What? What's so funny? A gun. What about it? A gun in four parts. Yes. And I destroyed it. A gun in four parts scattered across the world. I mean, come on. Did you really believe that? What do you mean? As if I would ask her to kill. Not oh, well, it doesn't matter. I've got her exactly where I want her. But I knew what Professor Doherty would do. The Resistance knew about her son. That's why I came to find you, know your enemy. I told her about the gun so she'd get me here at the right time. But you're still gonna die. Don't you want to know what I was doing? Travelling the world. Tell me. I told a story, that's all. No weapons, just words. I did just what the doctor said. I went across the continents all on my own. And everywhere I went, I found the people and I told them my story. He has saved your lives so many times and you never even knew he was there. I know him. I told them about the doctor. I love him. And I told them to pass it on. To spread the word so that everyone would know about the doctor. Faith and hope. Is that all? No, because I gave them an instruction. Just as the doctor said. Use the countdown. I told them that if everyone thinks of one word at one specific time... Nothing will happen. Is that your weapon? Prayer. Right across the world, one word, just one thought, at one moment, but with 15 satellites. What? The Archangel Network. A telepathic field, binding the whole human race together with all of them, every single person on Earth thinking the same thing at the same time, and that word is Doctor. Sorry. Then I'll kill them. 